How did I tell you who can be successful? A man can be successful who has set up a definite purpose in life, a very clear-cut goal, and he has a perfect plan of action, and he knows what he will do that he will achieve the goal. Take the example of a tennis player. There are a lot of tennis players every year winning four Grand Slams. So what an aspirant, a young boy of five or a girl of four, will think. It is first the parents and second the coaches. They know that to become a great tennis champion, your body has to be very strong. Because in tennis there is a lot of stress and strength. So you have to become something very strong like Serena Williams or Nadal. Or very flexible and very fit like Djokovic. And personified the legendary Borg or Landel or modern, you know, this greatest Pete Sampras. Andre Agassi, and so many greats who have really astonished the world by their supreme achievement and success. Who can forget Federer? So these were also unknown people. They have nothing in life when they started. But they know that they are going to become tennis champions, so they have to be physically very strong. And they did everything. And it's very easy. Running, jogging, skipping building your muscles, power, all these are very necessary. So you have to do that. Everybody is doing. Then endurance and stamina, that can be developed by sprinting, running, and doing a lot of other things, cardiovascular exercise, aerobics, and calisthenics. So your body becomes very rubberized, and it can have all the, all the capacity to be tolerating all these kind of strenuous strain and stress when you're playing tournament. So first condition is, to become a great champion, to be physically very fit. Now what second? Mind. It is the power of the mind which is supreme. Toughest mind, believing mind, courageous and bold mind, knowing only what to do and not to fear the outcome, committed, dedicated, persevering, persisting, striving, seeking, finding different ways and means to develop the skill, control, consistency, depth and power. If you keep on hitting the ball after ball, as you can hit on the wall, make a lot of circles, a small, big, and it's very smaller. And if you can every time hit there from any distance, exactly accurately there, means you have developed the skill to hit the ball. And once you start hitting the ball on the wall, you develop all these skills, your footwork, your spin, under, under spin or top spin, and flat, everything will be developed by hitting on the wall yourself. And you can learn a lot more from the videos on the YouTube, how they are hitting. Today, the modern tennis, there is wiper action for the forehand. Like Djokovic hit, Federer hit, Nadal hit, and all the ladies, champions hit. Just imitate them, copy them. Go the way others have gone, you will reach there. So simple. But you have to be ready for that. For you, it should be everything. You have not to look backward, you have not to stop, you have not to turn, but go forward. Ready to die, win or perish, but you will go there. That is the simple way to success. The fools are astonished. They think they are something supernatural human being from different planets. No, they work hard. It is the result of their toil, tears, blood and sweat, commitment, dedication, passion, the heartaches and headaches, and every sorrow, suffering, grief and pain they have undergone. And then you see only the result, the outcome. The glorious moments of their being crowned with all the trophies, all the greatness. You see only the pinnacles, but you know the foundation of torture it is. If you are ready to go through this acid test, you will also reach there. I know everything. I am not surprised to see anybody become great. And this is not only applicable for tennis, any sports. Of course, we are all made different. We have different destiny. When we work hard, we cannot become, if we are six feet, a seven feet person, they are DNA. That's why biometrics, all are different characters. But you can definitely remain true to your nature, true to your own ability and potentiality and capability and capacity. Don't compare yourself with others. You get vain and bitter because all are different. But you should do your best. That's why best friend Abraham Maslow said, self-actualization you grow to your full potential. And then he cautioned also, you are born great, 
and you should behave like a great. And great is simply believing in the power of your mind, taking full possession of your mind and putting it and becoming very successful. Greatness means you are very successful. And that we are very useful. In any area you have to be useful. Either you are a tennis player, you have to entertain the crowd, or you are a Hollywood star, you have to entertain the crowd, or any calling, you have to be useful and productive. The product can be different. There are different varieties of product. Intellectual product, the sporty product. You see the cricket, how crazy become the crowd? This is the product of the tennis player or the cricketer, uh, batsman or the bowler. And the product of a sign a star is how he is uh, performing on the screen. So all are product. They are useful and productive and creative and they give pleasure to the people. That's the product. So you make the best product. Your product in the tennis will be your success. Your wonderful forest strokes. Forehand, backhand, slice, volleys, serves, booming serves. And that's the simple. Bottom line. To be become a successful person, you should be one-pointed person. Kiss. Keep it simple and stupid. Stay hungry and stay foolish. That's the secret. Simple thing you do. Seriously. With passion, with devotion, with commitment. With drive. And if you really love it. All have told. Cherish your vision. Cherish your ideals. Cherish your prophecy. Dream lofty dreams. And as you dream, and if your dream is really the vibrations of your heart, soul and mind, these vibrations will be so intense that they will bring everything from the universe and put at your feet, at your doorstep. All the congenial conditions and all the heavenly environment will be created for you. And if you really true, do it till the last and you are there where you dream to be and desire to be. The ideal you put in your mind and the prophecy you enthroned in your heart, these intensity of a desire which is the consuming obsession will really bring you that glorious moment and you will be what you will to be and dream and desire to be. Thank you viewers. This is the secret of